This is modernity. It's a mismatched environment that we live in as Homo sapiens sapiens, which are designed through hundreds of thousands and millions of years of evolution before that to be the apex top dog predator living in the wild. But that's the key, living in the wild. Whereas in this room here, AC, artificial lights, EMF from all this crap, I'm in a environment that is not designed for my biology. In a lot of cases, it's an exact opposite of what it would be if there was dirt and grass and trees and birds chirping and all these things around me, sunlight even. <laughs> things are extremely bad. And then technology and social media and all those other things, they're fucking with this, making this go crazy. But let's look at this, right? So 25% over 18 on mental health meds. Like, can you can you imagine that? I mean, I don't know if this is accurate. This actually sounds kind of ridiculous. This almost sounds made up. One fourth of adults. I mean, seriously, I guess it's possible, right? 40% of kids entering high school overweight, for sure. Absolutely for sure. Kids are eating fake processed foods, seed oils, and other crap. And for some reason, probably marketing and mainstream psyop, whatever, adults, or you could say parents, they think that nutrition is only for parents because they their metabolism gets uh, slow and they're trying to lose weight or whatever. But like nutrition for children is the same as nutrition for adults. Stop eating garbage, processed shit. 300 million antidepressant prescriptions in 2021. Um, I mean, that actually makes, I mean, 300 million. Again, I don't know where these numbers are coming from. I mean, there's like 300 million Americans and 25%, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. 70% of Americans on meds. I believe this because most Americans are overweight. When I say most, I mean it's like estimated, I think it's 60 to 70% are considered overweight, where your BMI is like over a certain number, okay? And then some absurd number are obese. Like for example, this one, 50% of adults have diabetes or prediabetes, basically obesity. I think it's like 30% to 40% are considered obese, probably not 40%, probably 30%. But even if it was 20%, even if it's one in five people are obese, which is a clinical term for being so overweight, that you have it now a major health concern. That's what that means. Modernity is poisoning us. Yes, it is. And here's how you avoid it. I can't fathom why this isn't more popular. Nobody's really built a brand around this. It's an opportunity, but the mismatch of our species, right? That is mismatched to modernity is reversed by understanding this, by understanding our ancestral history, our past, understanding how that's different from today, and then making conscious changes in your environment so that you can actually use abundance and prosperity technology to get amazing results. Because look at, you could say probably 10%, it's probably even 5%, fit, active adults, right? I go to the gym, there's lots of fit people, but there's still a very small percentage of the whole population. You go and use technology, exercise uh, videos like YouTube, trainers, you know, all the amazing books on fitness and nutrition there is. Watch YouTube videos, podcasts, whatever, and you figure out an exact plan to be fit and healthy. You're using technology and free knowledge to control your habits and routines and environment to get better health outcomes. Red light, reducing blue light, using night shift on your phone, sleeping with a pitch black room, sound machines, like whatever you need to do to prioritize sleep. Then understanding circadian rhythm and sunlight, going outside, walking barefoot, all these different things, the whole list of things that you need to be a healthy human are freely found on this thing you're watching. But what do the masses do? The 90% or whatever use these devices to consume mindless, in some cases, brain-numbing entertainment. They don't use it to learn, to research, to build programs for themselves, whatever. They buy the fake processed crap food, the fast food, the easy things, whatever, that tastes good, that are literally engineered by billion-dollar corporations to addict you. They stay up all night in front of blue screens, being fed mainstream media, propaganda, etc. And it's just a constant self-reinforcing cycle of sickness, and dopamine uh, depletion and serotonin depletion and all these different things, they are sick 
and getting sicker and plugged in to the matrix that is just su sucking the lifeblood from them, sucking them economically, sucking them from their intellect and their ability to think. <sighs> and it, it's freaking painful because when you cross the other side, when you become awake and you build your life for yourself and you do all this stuff, you look at like maybe your past life or other people the way they live and it's hard to even have kind of empathy, you know, maybe have compassion, but you are so removed from it that it's hard to empathize like with what they're going through and their situation, how hard it is to maybe, you know, get good information or to like seek out the right thing and like, who do I listen to, whatever. Like, I'm not suggesting this stuff is easy, but if the desire is there, there are so many, we're talking millions of people around the world that are on these platforms broadcasting what's worked for them and giving it for free. If you wanted to learn how to cook, you could become an expert home cook by just watching YouTube videos and going in your kitchen and making some tasty shit. And then if you ate that real food and not, you were not eating the seed oils and the processed food, immediately there's like 70% of your health right there. Bam, weight loss, you know, solve diabetes, like just literal right there. Eat real food that you made at home. Bam, done. <laughs> And that's just one example. Go to the gym, take walks, get outside, earth, like whatever. Just do this thing, right? I am still flabbergasted that nobody is really talking about this. Now, there's some people here and there, you know. I won't get into that. But like there's some people that are, you know, they're trying and they have their, their, their stick. They're like, you know, I'm, I'm carnivore diet or I'm paleo or I'm like vegan or I'm plant-based. Like, you know, like and everyone's got their little thing, whatever. I won't offer my opinion on what I think is better or not better, but at least maybe start there, YouTube, podcasts, even this platform. If you search the right way and you teach the algorithm to feed you useful stuff, and then you have to start replacing the toxic things with these better things, and that's where results are going to come from. So to summarize, you have to understand where you come from. You have to understand that you are a mammal. You are homo sapiens sapiens. Okay, you are the only living extinct, which means a, like alive, like the only living not extinct hominid species. We beat all the other ones, including Neanderthals, etc. We're the only living, and we're destroying ourselves because we are not taking control of our environment, which is our habits, our routines, the people around us, etc. So, if you personally want to change that, if you want to actually build an amazing life with wealth, prosperity, uh, health, you know, it's going to be up to you, only you. And you have to do a lot of independent research and a lot of experimentation. And then you do more of what works and less of what doesn't, and you will change your life forever. And I, and I hope you do. I really do.